All right, what is up everybody? It's Ethan here. And you may be asking, asking me, Ethan, are you at the mall right now? Why are you showing us the mall parking lot? No, this isn't the mall. This is the Quandary Peak Trailhead near Breckenridge, Colorado. And there are no parking spots left here. People are parked down the street. It is absolute insanity. So, as you can see, it is the middle of winter right now. So, I gotta tell you, I'm not surprised that there's crowds, but I am surprised that there's this level of crowds. There are a ton of people here right now. I mean, there are literally hundreds of people climbing this mountain right now. Now, I don't know how many of them are actually planning on going to the summit or what, but this is absolute insanity how many people are here. But anyway, I of course am attempting to get to the summit of Quandary, a 14er that I've already climbed, but last time I climbed it, it was summer. So I'm trying to do it in winter. And today is March 6th, so that's still technically winter. So I'm gonna start my hike in amongst a uh, hundred of my closest friends and I'll check back in with you guys a little further up the trail. All right, so here's where the actual trail starts, right here, a little turn off of the road. And uh, you know, I will say the one positive thing to a 14er that everybody and their mother wants to climb even in the winter is that at least the trail is packed down really well. Probably gonna end up needing to throw my spikes on, but for now I'm just hiking in my boots. So far there's definitely been no need for snowshoes. First really good view on the trail. And I'll tell you, it did not take long for me to heat up. <laughs> I'm starting to think I may have overdressed. Which is honestly something I never thought I'd have to say about a winter 14er. All right, above tree line now, heading up the steep slope. So far there's no wind and I took off my jacket and I still feel overdressed. This might be the warmest 20 degrees I've ever felt. <laughs> and you can see a conga line of people heading up to that false summit. All right, at a little over 12.7, approaching that false summit up there, in between the two conga lines of people. So I guess I'm kind of in the sweet spot right now. It's definitely quite a workout, but uh, the conditions could not be better. And look at the views. It is incredible up here. Well, this slope just keeps going and going. There's a few false summits, but doesn't really ever like flatten out but that up there is the actual summit so I'm about a mile away and I am at 13,000 feet now so got about 1,200 feet of gain left 
All right, I'm topping out on this fall summit finally. A little over 13,000. And you can see the final climb I've got in front of me. It goes up about a thousand feet in a mile. So it is very steep. But oh man, look at these views. Really getting excellent views now of the uh, front range, the 10 mile range, and the uh, mosquitoes over there. Beautiful. And it might be about time to throw my jacket back on because I'm finally starting to feel the cold. <laughs> I just had to get over 13,000 feet, I guess. Man, what a perfect day. I mean, like, when it comes to winter, it almost never is like this. <laughs> I mean, it's probably about 20 degrees right now, but just the fact that there's been like little to no wind the entire hike and how well this trail is packed down, this is uh, definitely a good choice for a winter climb if you're looking to uh, do like one of your first ones. Now, I definitely can't promise the conditions will be this good every time, but this is uh, definitely as mellow as it gets when it comes to a winter 14er. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Now, we'll see. If I'm still saying that up there on that last descent, <laughs> but this is uh, this has been quite an enjoyable climb so far, even with all the people. Everyone I've encountered so far has been really nice. So, all right. Well, this is definitely. The steepest part of the trail I'm on you can see it gets slightly more mellow up there still steep but not quite this steep spikes definitely are a requirement on this part of the trail if you don't have them it's gonna be quite the suffer fest for you but I'm almost there. Well, I take back what I said earlier. This is, this is steeper. <laughs> it did get a bit windy up here, but it's honestly still not bad for a winter day. And the views are absolutely incredible. And I'm at about 13,850, so got about 400 feet of vert to get up to the summit getting very close all right there's the quandary peak summit and I can already tell I might not be up here too long there are so many people on the summit right now and there are still so many more people coming up it is beautiful up here though Honestly, worth the crowds. This is incredible. So, it took me about two hours and 15 minutes to get up here today, which I'd say is a pretty good time for winter. And uh, it's time for a well-deserved water and snack break. But, yep, just taking the final steps now to the summit of 14,265 foot Quandary Peak. All right, off the summit just a tad, just so I can film without 
without there being like 100 people around but uh man this is beautiful up here so that's the front range out there it's grace and tory's peak in that area this is uh the 10 mile range over here breckenridge is right down there and this is actually the west ridge of quandary peak it's a class three ridge wouldn't try to do it right now but in the summertime it'd be a fun little class three uh ridge traverse and then looking out there there's the Sawatch range all those peaks out there and the collegiate peaks down over there the mosquito uh, mountains over here and then that's looking down towards uh, the South Park Valley where Fair Play and Alma is and then peak is out over there like right there sorry I got a glove on so zooming in and out it's kind of a bitch but anyway beautiful hike really cool summit lots of people but to be expected it's a Saturday and it's Quandary Peak but uh, really awesome. And I actually, this is my first uh, winter 14er summit. I have done a few 13ers in the winter, but never a 14er, so this is cool. It's kind of like a little milestone, a little thing to check off my list. Done a 14er in winter now. And I mean, yeah, the views are incredible. It just gives you a whole different perspective of Colorado when you're up this high in the middle of winter. too much time up there one because there's a lot of other people and two because it is freezing <laughs> that's actually the first place along this uh since i started this hike where i got really cold but just sitting there not moving for a while that did it <laughs> i <laughs> i need to warm back up so i am getting back on the trail and starting my hike down all right back down to the 13,000 foot fall summit and Excuse me. Rejoining with the uh, conga lines of people. <laughs> There's a ton of people still going up and uh, a few people going down. But I definitely passed the uh, majority of people, of the people who uh, were starting, you know, who started the hike within an hour of when I did. So we'll see. I mean, I feel like. It's just going to be a crowded trail the whole whole way. That's how it is. But still getting beautiful views, of course. And enjoying the hike slash run back down. All right. Getting back down into the trees. Which means that it's probably another, I think it's about another mile and a quarter, mile and a half from here, something like that. Making good time despite the fact that, uh, I did post hole a bunch just back there, like up to my, like up to my thighs because uh, the snow that was, you know, nice and hard packed earlier this morning, now that it's a little later and the sun's been out for a while, the snow's softening up. And so there are definitely a couple of parts of the trail that on the hike down are probably going to be a suck fest if you do this in the winter time, but luckily it doesn't last too long. All right, well below the tree line now. Should be half a mile at most to get back to the uh, summer trailhead for Macaulay Gulch slash Quandary Peak. Uh, the winter trailhead is basically in the same place, but it's technically like an extra quarter mile. But yeah, beautiful day. I mean, I can't believe how nice of a day this was. It's crazy. There's literally some people on certain parts of the hike where there's like no wind 
like at the lower elevations where there's no wind and the sun's really beating down on you, there were people that were like hiking in t-shirts, no joke. At like, you know, 11 plus thousand feet in, you know, in the winter. All right guys, made it back to the Quandry Peak Trailhead. And there's a look at where I went. I actually started kind of over here and then hiked up through here and then hiked up the East Ridge to the summit. But yeah, wow, what a beautiful hike. Lots of people, but like I said, it's to be expected. The only thing that was missing out was, you know, didn't see any of the Quandry Peak mountain goats. There's a huge herd of mountain goats that lives up on Quandry Peak and Last time I did it in the summer, I saw, I mean, a couple dozen of them. This time, didn't see any. I don't know if it was just because of the crowds, but I don't think that's it because it was crowded the last time I did Quandary Peak, and it was probably a little more crowded, and, uh, you know, the goats were still there. But anyway, so I'm all done. Uh, with everything said and done, I got about another, like, third of a mile walk to get back to my car. So with everything said and done, for me, this will have been about seven and a half miles with about uh, 3,500 feet of total elevation gain. And it took me about three hours and 45 minutes or three hours, 40 minutes to uh, do this hike. So yeah, really incredible. <laughs> like, wow, uh, really fun hike. Uh, got it done real quick, which I am definitely happy about. My times are getting faster and faster, and that just means that, you know, if I can hike a 14er like Quandry in the winter in, you know, less than four hours, then that means that I can do other much longer 14er hikes and do them as a day hike rather than, you know, a backpacking trip or something like that. So anyway, guys, I am gonna go ahead and end the video here. If you guys enjoyed this video, Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys soon for some more awesome adventures. Have a good one, guys.